August 7, 1998. Bombs explode minutes apart outside the U.S. embassies in the East African nations of Kenya and Tanzania. The blasts kill more than 200 people, including a dozen Americans, and injure thousands more. Osama bin Laden's al-Qaeda terror network is blamed for the bombings three years before the September 11th attacks. 1964, in Washington, a fateful moment during the Vietnam War. As Congress passes the Tonkin Gulf Resolution, the overwhelming vote gives President Lyndon Johnson broad powers to escalate America's involvement in the war. 1942, during World War II, U.S. and Allied forces land at Guadalcanal. This marks the start of the Allies' first major offensive against Japan in the Pacific. Months later, the remaining Japanese troops evacuate the island. 1947, Norwegian explorer Thor Heyerdahl and his team successfully cross the Pacific Ocean in a balsa wood raft called Kontiki. Their journey is an attempt to prove Heyerdahl's theory that ancient mariners from South America could have settled in the South Pacific. 1957. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. Oliver Hardy, half of the Laurel and Hardy comedy team, dies in North Hollywood, California. He was 65. 2005. We looked very hard to see if we could find the outlines of a historical man. In New York, ABC News anchor Peter Jennings dies after a battle with lung cancer. He was 67. And 2007. Barry Bonds hits his 756th home run, topping Hank Aaron's long-standing record. However, Bonds' accomplishment is shrouded in controversy over his alleged use of steroids. Today in History, August 7th, John Belmont, The Associated Press.